All right. March 3rd, and we're going to be taking the boat out today. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to Riverbanks Outdoors Adventures. Uh, we're going to try to go after some catfish down here. We're going to be going into the Washita River. Now, this will be the first time we've taken the boat out in some time, so we're expecting some. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to have my sidekick with me, and uh, she hasn't been fishing like this, so it's going to be an adventure all the way around. Uh, temperature's going to be good, wind's going to be blowing, but I think we'll find our find us, ourselves. So temperature's going to be up in the, about the 70s, and the winds are going to be gusting about 15, maybe 20 miles an hour, but I think on the river we'll be able to go up and hide in a, in a cove or around a bend, I think we'll be okay on the, on the wind. All right, let's get the boat hooked up. Well, I get the boat hooked up. Notice my registration was out. Well, I had the boat in the shop all summer. Luckily, I remembered to get my registration while it was in the shop, so we're good to go. So that's not a good spot. <laughs> There's no shad around here. Just kidding. Sight. All right, let's go up to All right, give you a little bit of background uh, where we went yesterday. Uh, we put in at Butcher Pen Resort. It used to be an old resort on Lake Texoma. And the river, Washita River, had silted in and they cut that resort loose. It used to be a really booming little town. It was the fishing haven of Lake Texoma back in back in its heyday. Um, it used to have several stores. Uh, just a really nice little place to go. It's, uh, it's uh, the lake there, Butcher Pen Lake, and several other lakes. You have uh, from each side of the river. There's little landlocked lakes. Hard to get to, but uh, they're full of crappie, full of other fish, uh, catfish channel cat uh, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of background on this uh, we didn't get as much footage uh, yesterday as we wanted to uh, we had a pretty rough day and filming was just not on our radar after after everything else that had happened so uh, anyways I just wanted to throw that out there and give you a little bit of history on that the uh, Boat ramp at uh, the Washita River is a pretty good one. It's concrete. Uh, the river had come up the last few weeks, and when it, a lot of silt. It's a really silty river, 
and a lot of mud gets put on the boat ramps you gotta use caution when you're putting your boat in uh, you can get stuck in that stuff you uh, they do try to clean it off but on the next go around we're gonna try to do it again and try to get uh, some lines in the water this time we just had a good day of testing the boat out just getting out and throwing the casting net just sightseeing and uh, looking at how the river has changed over the years of uh, me going up there uh, fishing Nida Creek has changed a lot uh, fishing the Washita just in general you can see where through the floods throughout the last few years has just put a, a lot of different channels and it's just a that that's my home that's where I grew up as a kid uh, I cut my teeth on that river so watching her grow and change is just you know watching a child grow and change into an adult you know, they have their own attitude and their own way of doing things so uh, she is she is nothing to mess with she, that, that is a tough river but she will she will provide you with a lot of good fishing uh, striper uh, when they're running up the river uh, it's always full of catfish but finding shad was the hard part yesterday and so <clears throat> we'll just uh, come back with some more footage uh, later on when we decide to go back anyways Riverbanks Outdoor Adventures thank you